Okay, so today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this little painting and how it came to be. Of course, that little painting isn't that small. It is quite big. Okay. Welcome and thank you for joining me today. It is an absolute pleasure to be with you again. I am so looking forward to what is coming. I can't express myself clearly, properly. Apart from thanking you for coming, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the names I've been receiving. I've actually been so shocked by the quality of the names I'm getting that, uh, that it makes it really difficult to understand like how this is happening. You guys are really outdoing yourselves. This isn't just throwing like Johns and Harrys at me. You guys are really researching and coming up with fantastic names and it's making it so interesting and it's giving my paintings like so much more volume that I cannot express my gratitude enough. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the painting that's behind me. I decided to go with an organic direction and introduction to the painting. There was a lot of free throwing, there was a lot of paint going down. It was very artistic and a little bit chaotic but the result was perfect. After that, I had to try and research and work out the proper pose and posture of my dancer to create this outstanding figurine. I've chosen this beautiful pearlescent pearl color as a, a base for the influence of this painting. I wanted to have it as striking and as limitless as possible. I wanted to try and create depth within depth. And that color helped me achieve it. Now you guys have noticed, and I have had inquiries about why some of the paintings are so small. Predominantly my paintings are quite big. I like to work on, on wide scales. I like to try and create very dominant paintings. I like, to, I like the wall to know that it's been owned when one of my paintings is on it. But I have been utilizing the smaller ones to get my ideas out faster. So for, for a lot of you that have named smaller paintings, those names will continue when those paintings actually progress. Sometimes I find the easiest way to try an idea is just to get into the thick of it and try it. I need to throw down colors. I need to work out how they react together, what the colors do. Even though I have a lot of experience, there's nothing quite like experiencing it again. In the online shops that I'm busy setting up at the moment, there will be posters, there will be plaques, and there will be paintings for sale. Some of the older stock will be unfortunately leaving me. I've kept it for a long time, very dear. But it's of the age where it pays rent or it gets out. The most important thing for me right now is to try and create a, as much of a channel as possible. I need to try and find out where to go, how to get there, what people's interests are, if they're enjoying the paintings, if I can add more to the paintings. The shop is going to be run with by my wife, Anna. She is going to be taking care of all of the sales of posters, all that kind of thing. She's very on the ball and she's a lovely lady. Unless I turn up missing. Thank you again. It's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you. I have had nothing but a thrill. This whole adventure with you is becoming so fantastic. I cannot begin to tell you. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. Take care of yourselves, be fabulous, anything less unacceptable. <laughs>